Hey everybody and welcome back to Dust Studio. In this video I'm going to show you very quickly how to create your own ghost light or mesh light or whatever you want to call it. Before I get started a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon that really helps me out. And of course an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. If you are interested in supporting the channel you can do so by visiting the Patreon in the description below or you can simply become a member by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So let's jump into this then. We currently have a scene with a character in it which you've probably seen in my previous bite size video and if I go into Nvidia iRay preview mode is that there's no light in the scene at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a ghost light. So what the first thing we need to do is click on this icon here that looks like we've got three shapes smushed together and we're going to simply create a sphere. We're going to have it at, let's just say we're going to have it at 0.5 meters diameter. It doesn't matter how many segments and slides we have, just leave that at default, that's fine. So that's going to pop into the scene and it, it, we'll see, you'll see very quickly that it also has absolutely no light properties whatsoever. So I'm actually going to go into texture shaded mode and I'm going to jump out of my camera, reset my view here so that I can actually see my sphere and I'm going to move it, move it up there and I'm going to put it about there. That works for me. Now if we go back into our camera view, we can see it at the top of the frame a little bit, but it doesn't matter. The idea is that ghost light will be invisible anyway. So what we're going to do is with our sphere selected, we're going to go into our surfaces tab. We're going to select our sphere. We're going to expand all of the options and then emission. We're going to change the emission property from black by clicking on the bar. We're going to make it white like so. Now we're going to change our luminance units to KCDMR. You don't have to, but it just means that you've got a much brighter set of properties to start off with. So now if we go back into NVIDIA IRA mode again, After a moment or two, you can see that our sphere has now become a light source. The problem is it's a whopping great circle in the screen. So what we need to do is go back into our properties tab and where it says geometry, where it says cutout opacity, we're going to say 0 0.0000001. You can put as many zeros there as you want. The idea is to just make it un uh, invisible. So now there it is it's it's still there. You can see it when I hover the mouse over it, but it is completely invisible in the scene and in the render. And there you have it, folks. That is all there is to it. I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hopefully, I will hear from you all. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye bye.